joke. Just now, we were at the Knights of Avonius, and... and... I take it you're about to inform me of the war declaration from the Abyss Order. I'm aware of it. Though I appreciate you for taking the trouble to come all this way. What? The Dawn Winery's intelligence network extends beyond commercial matters. Great! So, what's the plan, Master Diluc? I'm open to suggestions. No. That would be playing right into the hands of the Abyss Order. They know full well that we don't exactly see eye to eye. They're using this as a means to force me into making an appearance. If my identity were exposed, all my future activities would be subject to some degree of interference from the Knights. After all, no powerful organization wishes to be outdone by someone from the outside. Woo! The Abyss Order has really dealt you a tough hand this time. What a sneaky little bunch those guys are! There is a way. But for it to work, I need some more information. Specifically, I need to decipher the obscured portions of the Abyss Order's war declaration. Obscured portions? You mean the bits Paimon can't read? It must be a cipher only understood by members of the Abyss Order, used to spread messages within the organization. It's not simply a war declaration, but also a notification to their own. When you take a stand that makes you a hero to one party, you also become a villain to the other. And since I've been the Abyss Order's enemy for so long, they've made me the target around which they can rally their troops and unite their strength. Wow! Seems like it takes a lot of brains to be a superhero, huh? I understand my enemy well, is all. As the saying goes, heroes and villains are two sides of the same coin. So what are we gonna do about the intel that's written in gibberish, then? How do we... un... gibberish... fi... it? Simple. When you don't understand something, you ask. I've already tracked down one of their strongholds. If you're interested, feel free to come along. Such a brute.
Bet you can't keep up with me. It's nearly time for afternoon tea. <gasps> oh my! I'll keep this close. Another target tracked down by Outrider Amber.
You're in for a little shock. I win. This is the place. Abandoned ruins like these are precisely the kind of place the Abyss Order likes to camp out. Come on, there's no time to lose. This is the place. Abandoned ruins like- Come on!
There can be no excuse for defeat. things up a little. Start talking. Your plan. What is it? I see you received our letter. But if you think I'm going to let you in on our secrets, I'm afraid you're quite mistaken. <laughs> you appear to have misunderstood the situation you're in. 
Did you just use a pyro vision to shoot fire from your hands? Ah, it burns! Let's see how long it takes for you to crack. Stop! Stop! Please! Pain! I beg you! Make it stop! I'll talk. I'll talk. Ow, ow, ow! Please! Stop! I'll tell you everything. Be. Be a disorder. We've amassed a force bound by a shared hatred for the Dark Knight hero. They, they will march on the Mondstadt city gates at 10 p.m. tomorrow night. That's everything I know. Please, don't make me suffer those flames again. That's it? Well, I doubt you'd be foolish enough to keep anything else hidden. Now that I have the information I need, I must prepare. I would be grateful if you could keep me updated on how the Knights of Favonius respond to this matter. Yes, Master Diluc, sir! Anything you say, Master Diluc, sir! Why are you acting so strange all of a sudden? In... in light of what just went down here a moment ago... Master Diluc has officially reached number one on Paimon's people not to tick off under any circumstances list. Uh, 